In this part of the lesson, we're going to look at how to work with public variables in VBA. A public variable is one which is accessible to every procedure in every module in the same project. Let's start by opening the file that I've downloaded and extracted, and then click the Enable Content button if necessary when the file is open. We're working with another version of the same example we've used in the previous few parts of this lesson. Let's look at the VB Editor. Head to the Developer tab and choose Visual Basic. And we can see we're in the same position we left it in the previous part of the lesson. We have a main procedure called Process BMI List, which makes a call to two sub procedures, Calculate BMI and Calculate BMI Band. Each of these performs a calculation and assigns a value to a variable. And all of the variables involved in this process are declared as private to the module in which they're declared. When you begin working on larger, more complex projects, rather than simply dividing a long procedure into multiple different subroutines in the same module, you may well end up with lots and lots of different modules to organize your code. Let's create a new module in this project by right clicking into the modules folder and then choosing insert module. I'm going to use this module to contain the procedures which calculate the values related to BMI. So I'm going to change the module name using the properties window in the bottom left hand corner here. I can change the module name so that it's called BMI calculations. Module names can't contain spaces as subroutine names and variable names. When you press enter, that module will now be renamed. Now I'd like to move the calculate BMI subroutine into this new module. So to do that, I can double click on module one and then find the calculate BMI subroutine highlight all the code and then simply cut that to the clipboard. I can either right click and cut or press Ctrl and X. I can then switch back to the BMI calculations module by double clicking on it and then simply paste the code in Ctrl V or right click and paste. If I now attempt to return to Excel and run the process BMI list procedure by clicking the calculate BMI button, I'm going to end up with some kind of error message. And it's the same error message we've seen in a couple of other parts of this lesson so far. Compile error variable not defined. And it highlights the waiting kilograms variable in my new module BMI calculations. Of course, the reason this happens is because this subroutine can't access the weight in kilograms variable or the height in meters or BMI variables for that matter either. I'll just reset the procedure by clicking the reset button and then return to module one and scroll up to the top of the module. And of course, the reason I can't access these variables in another module is because they're declared as private. To make each of these three variables available to every module in the project, I can simply declare them as public instead. So rather than private, I can change that to public. And I can do that for each of the three variables involved. You may see just out of interest in slightly older code, you may see the word global instead. Uh, global is a slightly old fashioned way of doing the same thing. The preferred modern term is public. So use that for any future code. Having done that, I can simply click back into the Excel window and then calculate BMI. And now this code has access to all of the variables that I've declared as public across every module in the project. When you're working on a large complex project, you may find it useful to organize all of your public variables into a single module. Let's head back to the Visual Basic Editor and then insert a new module by right clicking into the Project Explorer and choosing Insert Module. I can then rename this module so that it's called public variables. So I can call this one public variables. Again, don't use spaces in the names of your modules. What I can then do is return to my module one module by double clicking on it. And then I can simply cut my three public variables using control X or right click and cut and then return to public variables and then paste those variables in. This doesn't affect the way the code works in any way. It's just a nice way to think about organizing your code. When you have many, many public variables, it seems silly to put them in a single specific module, have a separate public variables module just to hold them. There is one small disadvantage to placing your public variables in a separate module, and that's that they won't appear in the locals window when you debug your code. If I switch back to module number one and then view the locals window, if I attempt to begin stepping through my process BMI list procedure, 
I'll find that my locals window, of course, doesn't show me the values of any um, variables not declared within the subroutine. I can see a list of all the variables declared at the module level by expanding the module. Uh, but fortunately, unfortunately, that doesn't include my variables that I've moved to another module. I can use the watch window to access and watch the values of those variables. So let's just reset this procedure at this point. I'll close down the locals window and then open the watch window instead. I can head to the view menu and choose watch window. I can now return to the public variables module by double clicking on it. And to add any of these variables to the watch window, I can right click on its name and then choose add watch. The important thing about this is that to make sure that I can see the value of the BMI variable in all of the modules when I'm debugging, I need to change the, mod the module option here to say all modules. So it's all procedures, all modules. I can then click OK and that value will now be added into the watches window. And if I were to return to module one and begin stepping through my process BMI list procedure, let me just make it a little easier to see by changing these column widths. And I can then use the F8 key to begin stepping through. And we should find that when we reach the calculate BMI procedure, I can still see the BMI variable in the watch window. I can see its value will change when I calculate a new value and that that will then be used to calculate the BMI band, etc, etc. And it will continue to be used and change in the watch window whenever I'm stepping through this subroutine. Let's just reset the code at this point. At this point, you can either continue with the extra practice session at the end of this part of the lesson, or you could move on to the next lesson in this module, which explains how to use and work with object variables.